Hello everyone and welcome to my 2020 bullet journal setup. This is my first voiceover, so please bear with me. For this setup, I wanted something simple and something that fit me. So I decided for a minimal look with my accent color of gold and then the rest black. So as you can see here, I'm just dooting a little moon and some stars around it, and then working on my title. I know this is going to sound cliche, but I honestly can't believe that it's already 2020. I mean, 10 years just fly by so fast. So in this next page, I'm just doing a simplified version of the GERD spacing that is going around in the bullet journal community. I personally don't need all the rest of the lines, but I do need to know where the middle and the, well basically the, where the center is. And in this next page, I'm working on my key. I've been using the same key for every single bullet journal that I have. This will be my third one, so it's been very handy. I mean, it's very simple, so it's not, I don't have a lot of symbols that would confuse me or anything. Oh, and there's my cat saying hi while I set up my bullet journal. His name is Panther Lily, and if anybody knows where that's from, we are now best friends. I don't make the rules. And this next page, um, I decided to do a year at a glance because I split up my future logs by the semester since I am in school. So I like my year at a glance so I could just turn back to that page every six months while I'm setting it up. And again, I wrote a big 2020 in gold and then on, in cursive I wrote at a glance. So it's the year at a glance. And then for my monthly titles, I decided to just go for the numbers of the month as opposed to writing down their whole name just because I feel like it would look cleaner that way and less clumpy because uh, my handwriting is pretty messy it's not the neatest in the world but I honestly don't care that's what makes me unique and I love my handwriting And yes, I do start my weeks on a Monday because Sunday is still part of the weekend for me. So I start all my weeks with a Monday. And this is honestly one of the most tedious pages for me. Um, my hand as cliche as it sounds, my hand did end up hurting by the end of the setup, but I mean, it's all worth it. And here I'm just adding little decorations because I felt like the page Ooh, felt blank so my next two pages are my gold pages goals pages my next two pages are my goals pages um, the first page on the left is actually a spread inspired by um, Elizabeth Turn from plant-based brides she's actually one of my favorite bullet journal journalers journalists I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, 
she gave me this idea last year in one of her videos where hers was thank you next themed which I thought was pretty cute but I wanted to keep it again simple and minimalistic to my theme so basically what this setup is um, the first square is your your first square is the word of the year I'm sorry the second square is the focus and the third square is your actual goals now her original spread doesn't have um, you don't need to fill out where the goals are because that's just the title for your smaller sections down below um, but I decided to put a little phrase that would help me get through my goals and in no particular order my goals are divided between love social life finances school and health and so I divided it to make it easier for me to be able to keep, tr keep track on what exactly I want to accomplish in 2020 and then for my next spread I dedicated it off for my health just to expand on what I want to do in the year um, and I also divided it into quarters and then in the bottom section I divided it into just my overall goals maybe the section some things that I probably didn't fill out on the page before it I am trying to be healthier this year And so for my next and final spread is actually my um, spring semester future log, I guess you could call it. So um, again, like I mentioned, I am a student. So this is where I mostly put all the due dates and homework assignments that um, I'll receive once I get the syllabus once the new semester starts and then I'll also incorporate all my personal events and appointments that I need but I'm one of those people that doesn't necessarily need to plan too much in advance and that's why I can easily divide it between semesters as opposed to the first six months and then the last six months Especially because I don't think I'll need a future log for the summer months, which would be May, June, and July, because um, I don't necessarily do anything. I am curious to see how I'll set it up for the next semester because I am supposed to graduate in May, so uh, I might just do a giant future log with the summer semesters and then just fill it out the way I can <laughs> since I don't I won't need to focus on anything school related anymore I'm actually so excited to graduate I can't wait <laughs> And now a quick flip through of my setup. So here I have the cover page and the grid spacing, my key, my year at glance, my goals pages. I'm actually very excited with these pages and I can't wait to actually use them. And then my semester future log. And that completes my setup.
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!